Caller, you're live on the air. Thanks for your patience. Uh, Will from Yo, New York. It's uh, Will in New York. What's up, Ben? Nothing much. So, What's on your mind, man? I thought I was. I thought I was going to have to pivot like 16 different times throughout that, but then you just ended up making the same points that I was coming up with to pivot. Um, but I think the, the, the part of this, yes, they sell fear because humans are either motivated by love or fear. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fact. Um, the least educated among us and the least scared of how we're going to subsist among us are going to be motivated by fear because that's fight or fight, fight mechanism that we mm -hmm. all have. Mm -hmm. um, so, the flip side to selling that fear to those people is, okay, well, you need to be afraid of this guy and you need to be afraid of that guy, but you know what? There is hope because this person is a rags to riches story. Right. And one day when you're rich, we don't, we don't fix the economics. God, because one day when class. you're rich, you can capitalize off of all of this. Yeah. So no, of, of course don't fix those things because you'll be rich one day too. Exactly. I know you're down and out right now, but hey, we'll take care of those guys for you. Just continue to hate them for us. So, I mean, that was the only other point that I could make that you didn't so eloquently already make, but yeah. Will, actually, so, man, I, I've got to get my applaud lines going back because you you actually pivoted to the next thing that I wanted to talk about in that same exact vein. Thanks for the call, man. Let me grab this next one. Yep. The okay. other thing that I wanted to say is exactly what Will just said. Everyone give an applaud to Will because that is what they do, right? Their solution to your economic problem is a pipe dream. It is a, it is a, let me stop being so melodramatic. It's a pipe dream, right? That's all it is. It is, if you work hard enough, if you, if you believe hard enough, if you go to church and you pay your tithes and you give money to, if you do all these things and you work 24 hours a day, then maybe, just maybe, you'll become a billionaire like the other people. And so I was reading an article from Quartz um, today. I, actually, I read it last night. And they were citing some data from, um, actually, they're citing uh, a story from 2015, but it was still relevant. And it just re really outlined the reality that the majority of the people that they're telling us to look at and to be uh, admirers of their success. And this is the model of success. This is the American dream. This is what you need to do to be successful. What they don't tell you is that behind the majority of them is a family that's already wealthy, that it's they already have access to capital, that they already have access to, um, to, they have the type of pedigree that's necessary to get them capital, even if they don't have capital themselves, right? They already are connected. And so there are hundreds of millions of Americans <coughs> out there who will never be born into capital. And so the American dream that they're selling us this pipe dream for is not applicable to us because we don't have access to capital and we don't have access to getting those relationships to getting capital. And so we're out here killing ourselves working 60 hours a week because they told us this story that sounds really good that all we need to do is 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 work really hard and the america dream is just for you all the while they're not giving you the sub the, the fine print it's for you if you're born into capital already this is the distraction this is the sleight of hand what is that call in the what is it called in the musician magician uh whatever i, I forget it, it is um they named a movie after it but this is where this is what they get you to look at while they do everything they else that they need to do keep money in politics keep the media from ever going into a conversation that's relevant that actually means something that actually has some substance that's going to change the situation for the average american for the better they keep you afraid and then they keep you buying into this pipe dream. That is a fundamental problem. And so while I hear Bernie Sanders talking, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I just, at this point, I, I'm not tired of hearing him talk. I'm tired of hearing him talk with the rest of America, covering their ears like children, not wanting to have a realistic conversation about the very real problems that we're facing. 